What's going on guys? Welcome back to Geek With Dev. This is yet another Zoom interview because that's the way we do things now. Uh, I'm honored to be joined by Rob Mars, a professional stunt coordinator, stuntman. So we're going to start off just with Outer Banks because that's what's hot right now. What was your reaction to how fast the whole show blew up and took off? Yeah, I was really happy about it. Uh, when we were shooting this, I had a feeling that it was going to be a really good show because the kids on it, they're just, they're amazing. They put their heart and soul into every day of work. And we had really, basically 90% of that show was shot on location, which is not in a stage. I mean, we are out in the marsh, on boats, in the water, running through stuff. And every single one of those kids just put their heart and soul into it and worked really hard every day. And I was like, I think we've got a, a hit. And about, I would say probably halfway through the, the season, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a big show. So when it took off, I was like, yeah. So you guys have probably seen Rob uh, at least once in your life. I've seen him many times, but I didn't even know. Uh, just to name off some of the films and projects that he has been a part of. Uh, right off of IMDb, I see that you are part of Black Widow, which is coming out soon. I'm excited to see that. Uh, Endgame, Infinity War, and uh, this is just Marvel for everybody who's watching right now. Winter Soldier, First Avenger, Thor, Agent Carter, which I remember specifically that scene was badass. We'll get to that later. Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man, and some other things that I love. Terminator Genesis, Oblivion, and the show Lost. So stick around for the second half of this interview to see a lot about what it is working as a stuntman in Hollywood. And I can say that because these are Hollywood flicks, man. This is this is an incredible lineup of movies. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been very, very fortunate with my career. I've gotten to do a lot of really fun, uh, fun stunts and just amazing adventures. So pretty cool. Right on. So back to Outer Banks. Could you tell me a little bit about how you got the role? It's actually it's a pretty funny story. Um, so I was the assistant coordinator, and one day we're coming up, uh, Toby comes up to me and he goes, hey, we need to look for a, a big guy to play a cop. Uh, he's got to be physical and all these things. I'm like, all right, cool. So we put together all these names, getting ready to turn it in. I, I go, hey, Toby, do you mind if I audition for it? You know, I've done a little acting here and there. He goes, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I put a little tape together, put it in there, and I didn't hear anything. So we're working away, working away. And uh, I find out that the director and like the writing team producers like Jonas and uh, Shannon and all those guys are like, we like this guy. And Toby goes, really? Like nobody put my name, they didn't know. They're like, yeah, we like this guy. And they didn't realize that this guy was sitting on the bench over there being their assistant coordinator. And he goes, well, if you like him, why don't you, uh, you want to meet him? And they're like, what? And like, yeah, he's right there. I walked over, and, yeah, I walked over, and, uh, yeah, you know, Jonas met me, and next day, Toby gives me a call, and he goes, hey, so they're going to make you a Deputy Thomas. So I'm like, oh, fantastic. And then those guys are just so, like, they're just really, really cool and really hardworking, and next thing you know, they're like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Well, let's do that. And we got a great vision of stuff, and next thing you know, I'm getting to do really great parts as a uh, deputy Thomas. How did you prep for the role? Being on set, do it being the assistant stunt coordinator throughout the whole the whole show. How did you prep for the role and be able to do both at once? Um, actually, I you know what uh, I've been doing stunts for quite a while, and so between doing the stunts and doing the acting, um, I would read the scripts so I would know the story that was coming up, and. Uh, Besides breaking down the script and what stunts we had, I would also go, okay, cool. So in this one, you know, my character is going to be doing this. And I got very lucky in the fact that Jonas is a great director. Sherry's a great director. I mean, everybody, Valerie, they were all great directors. And you literally, if, as long as you knew your lines, they would put you in such a great position to actually feel the character out. And, uh, you know, I'm a big guy, so it's pretty easy to just be a, a big, intimidating sheriff you know or deputy so i should say because uh you know i don't know it just comes kind of naturally to be a, a cop i guess where do you think your character stands going into season two if that sort of thing happens which we know it will. i mean that's that's all up to that's all up to the powers of be Jonas and and shannon and i mean everybody else it's like 
I don't know where they're going to go with it. I don't really know, if, you know, to be quite honest, my character is that important in it, but it would be kind of cool if they brought me into it in some, you know, way or fashion, you know, it'd be kind of cool. I always thought, you know, wherever they end up, maybe, you know, Deputy Thomas has like followed them and gone after them, you know, on his own. And then they think that he's going to arrest them, but he's actually on their side or something like that. So, I mean, who knows where he goes. There's the whole thing about Peterkin dying. And I was talking to Colin about this too. Someone's going to have to step up to that role, right? And Colin thinks that Shoop can do it. Um, but we were also predicting, I was predicting season two with Colin and he was like, well, I, I kind of want to see them, uh, see his character shoot go after john b in a side story so say something like that happened because his character does like to go off the record and do things on his own we know that do you think your character is fit to step up as sheriff oh definitely i mean and, and i could see that too to where now you could have you know he's sheriff shoot now you know him go after john b and be on his side or trying to you know basically prove his innocence and then I come in as the tough ass that's so going to take them all down, which would be kind of cool. See that you have a bone to pick with John B. Oh, yeah. He is, he's showing you front, left and center, like getting away from you in every scene you are in, which is like, it's just, you're so close, uh, right? Oh, yeah. But then he's just gone. Especially like when he takes the truck. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I just wanted to shoot him. Shoot keeps me from shooting him. Yeah. At the When you're at the, he, when he's actually going to talk at the sheriff's office. I don't know what those are actually called. The the sheriff station? The station. Uh, yeah, he was in the station. station. And then you come out and then it's like, you're here again. And you're like, just don't move. Right. And then just gone. Um, then that's probably so frustrating for your character and like probably kind of blindsides you in the, in the fact that, you know, John B actually is a, a good kid. But, um, you know, but, and then we have the... Yeah, no, I mean, that? exactly that. At that station, it'd be kind of cool to see if maybe they arc it to where, you know, Deputy Thomas does go after him on his own accord, and there's a chase in ensues, and when he finally catches him, he thinks it's done. He's like, look, I believe in you, kid. You know, I'm here to help you prove your yeah. innocence, you know, and maybe Shoop is the hard ass. Or they, you know, flip-flop or whatever. Because, yeah, I was talking to uh, Colin, and we were saying how... Maybe because you know Colin at the or shoot at the beginning he was kind of a, a dirty cop, so maybe that's still in him. And he when he's talking to Ward, maybe there's a little bit there that he if he goes after them, maybe he still has that greed and wants the gold. And your character could go to John B and be like, man, like like I'm on your side. Like that would be such a powerful moment, right? Right, there. that'd that's be incredible. kind of cool. It'd be. I mean, who knows? You know, again, it's all speculation. But wherever they end of up, course. you know, maybe. Sheriff Shoop does go after, you know, them because he's in with Ward and the gold. And, you know, you see somebody following John B. And, uh, you know, you're like, oh, you know, someone's after him. And then huge chase and everything. And finally, big fight. And then he gets him. And he's like, stop. Wait a minute, man. I believe in you. I'm trying to help you. You know, let's get you. You know, and now Deputy Thomas would be on the, the Pogue side trying to help prove. And he's, you know, giving them the inside stuff you know, against Ward and uh, Shoop. I've been talking to, I've actually talked to yourself, Cullen, I talked to Gary Weeks last, and th these past three interviews, we've talked a lot of uh, speculation on season two and what we want to see happen, not what is going to happen. I've talked to, Jonathan Davis also told me, guys, that they have no idea about season two. There has been no confirmation at all. And you could say that as well, right? I'm telling you right now, we have zero, nothing. So we don't even know if there is going to be a season two. I mean, I, I can't understand why there wouldn't be, but at this moment right now, nobody has said anything to at least myself about a season two. I was talking to Gary Weeks. He plays JJ's dad, Luke. And I was talking to him about maybe all the parents had like their own journey to try to find the gold. And maybe the uh, maybe yourself, you know what he's going through because you were friends with all the, all the parents and stuff. And I just hope so much that Jonas or Shannon or anybody who, anybody up there who runs the show sees some of these interviews because I have a lot of good ideas and everybody has so many good ideas. And I think that uh, hopefully we see some of them in season two. Yeah. And um, yeah.
so I'm excited for that. But that's it. That's it for me uh, for for Outer Banks questions. I mean, if there's anything, do you have any funny stories? Anything you want to add in there? I, uh, you know what, I got to tell you, I'm very, very, just a excited and b just feel very privileged to be working with these guys. Every single one of these kids is just such a hard worker, and they put so much effort and their heart and soul into every day of work. And you know, I've been on a few shows and I've seen, I've had the honor, and I do mean honor, of watching like Sir Anthony Hopkins act with Chris Helmsworth in Thor, in the scene where he's telling him, you know, you're not worthy and throws him out. You know, I was in that room and I've seen some great actors. You were? Yeah. 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 And I've seen some wow. great actors. And I mean, Ray Stevenson, another great actor. I was his stunt double in quite a few movies. So I get to see him do just amazing acting. Uh, Tom Cruise, I got to have like literally a three day acting like person, a uh, one on one person with uh, Tom, and he's one of the hardest working people I've ever seen in show business. And these kids are right up there, man. They are working their ass off, and they're just super talented, man. And uh, I'm just really happy for them. Really, uh, you know, really excited to be part of it. Oh, 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 oh